Hi, I'm Mike Popper. I'm one of the project managers here in IT, and I'm here to give you the 401 on BHMIS 101. For the BHMIS project, that stands for Behavior Health Management Information Systems. We're going to implement the project in two phases. One phase is for our clerical staff, and that's going to essentially replace our assignment system today. Our assignment system's old and needs to be replaced. This is going to primarily affect our clerical and our billing staff, as well as our contract providers. Phase two is a situation where we're going to replace our paper processes with an automation workflow that includes things like treatment plans, progress notes, and assessments. We have automated workflows designed that's going to improve our patient care across the county. The HMIS project will benefit clients, our admin staff, as well as our clinical staff. Basically, clients will be able to get more information in real time on our avatar system, and eventually we have a patient portal for them. Management will see increase and in improved billable rates and billable processes with things like Medi-Cal and our insurance providers. Our clinical staff will be able to get more information in real time and they'll be able to do electronic charting, which hopefully will improve patient care across the county. Vision goals include supporting the countywide vision by providing for the safety, mental health, and social services needs of our county residents countywide. As I said, we're going to have two phases for the project. Phase one is designed to help improve the revenue streams that we get in from places like Medi-Cal and our insurance providers. It's also going to help improve our strategies and our programs across the county and improve our strategies and programs from a management point of view. Phase two is going to improve our clinical processes by improving the information flow across the board from all of our clinics. Right now, typically patient charts are housed at one clinic or another, but with Avatar, all the data will be entered in Avatar and available at any provider real-time across our county continuum of care, which is amazing. It's going to improve uh, patient communication as well as clinical communication between facilities and entities, including things like our contract providers and fee-for-service providers. Phase 1 is designed to replace Simon. Simon's going to be around for a year after go live of Phase 1. Um, it's also going to replace things like Encato. It's going to improve our ADT processes, the ICL or initial contact log process, as well as improving the treatment log process. It's going to affect billings, claims, denials, and hopefully improve our um, claim to denial ratios. It's going to impact some uh, of our organizations like business office, financial interviewers, clinical staff, and our billing staff, as well as our contract providers who will be entering information into Avatar instead of an assignment. Phase two is even better. What we're going to do is all the paper that we have today, we're going to try to replicate with electronic forms and avatar. So things like treatment plans, progress notes, and assessments will be all created in avatar designed to county specifications. We're also going to have workflows around that to include approval processes for different forms, depending on the type of program the form is being used for. We're going to create all kinds of security around this too to define what people can do so that um, we have a total workflow from end to end, from patient care all the way through billing. Phase one includes many different things. One of the biggest things we're doing is we're hosting a system ourselves here in San Bernardino County. Our friends over at ISD have actually built a whole host of different systems for us, and we'll get to that in a moment. But just know that we're hosting an application here in, in San Bernardino with some connectivity to the avatar models that we need that are hosted out in the cloud. One of the biggest components of phase one is the, is the CalPM module. The CalPM module is the primary module that's used for avatar software, and that contains the billing software that we need, as well as the clinical ADT processes, and some of the things we do today in Simon and in Cato, and the, including the ICL logs and things like that. We also have, as part of phase one, a data conversion process. What we're going to do is we're going to convert all the data from Simon into avatar so we can continue the patient's care. We also are going to build up reports, so all the reports that we have today in Avatar or in Simon that are relevant will be replaced in Avatar and hopefully improved. We also have a module called MSO. That's a module that's provided by our vendor NetSmart. It's going to be used by contract providers to enter services directly into Avatar. We also are going to um, incorporate the data warehouse as part of the project. Data that's entered in Avatar will eventually flow overnight into the database that the research and evaluation team uses to create reports in the SAS software package that they have. So that's a whole part of the project from phase one. 
Another component for phase one is our training component. The training component is going to be amazing. We have 12 different curriculums we developed for things like um, the clinical workflow, the billing workflow, financial interviewers, business office, and our contract providers. So we're going to do a training over eight weeks to try to incorporate everybody's time. The classes will be anywhere from a day to five days, depending on the type of training that's being offered. So stand by and we'll get the training dates out to you shortly. Phase two is going to include many, many more components. One of the most important components of phase two is what they call the CWS module, a clinical workstation module. That's basically where all the forms are going to be housed as well as the workflows and so forth. But on top of that, we've ordered a bunch of different modules from our vendor. So we've ordered a module called Order Connect where we will be able to do e-prescribing real time on the fly. That's going to replace our current Doctor First system. Another component of Order Connect is the ability to order labs electronically and have the labs come back to us electronically. That's going to improve patient care as well as improve the speed and accuracy of, what, of how we get labs delivered back to us. Another great thing that we're going to do is capture electronic signatures inside Avatar. So across the county, we're going to buy signature pads, electronic signature pads, that our clients will be able to sign forms real time. If you've ever been over to Kaiser or Loma Linda, you've probably seen these signature pads before. They're very common in the medical field, and we're going to incorporate that into our practice. The other thing we're going to do is for clients that are treated out in the field, our clinicians and staff will be able to capture signatures real time using laptops that have the capability of capturing signatures. And we'll store all that back in Avatar um, for historical purposes as well as for reporting purposes with the state. Some other things that phase two is going to include is My Health Point. My Health Point is going to be a patient portal that we will eventually allow our clients to actually log in and see their specific information. It's a, it's a secure portal where they will be able to see information in real time. This is going to improve the continuum of care for our clients and hopefully even reduce some of our clinical workflows because clients won't have to call us all the time for their information. One of the other things that we're going to do is we're going to implement the Perceptive software. Perceptive is a scanning solution that NetSmart provides. It's going to let us scan in documents real time and associate those documents back into the patient chart electronically. So if a client is being seen in another location, all those forms will be available to our staff across the county and they'll be able to see that information real time. Additionally, we're going to scan patient charts going back two years to provide better care for our clients. One of the other things we're doing is we're going to incorporate um, an executive reporting system and the KPI system that improves management statistics back to our management team so they get real-time data on the fly. We're also incorporating web services, which is a software piece that incorporates the technology to connect to different things in the county. Phase two also include a couple more modules. We're going to have a module called Provider Connect that's going to enable our fee-for-service providers to log in and enter services real-time in Avatar. We have a module called Care Connect that's going to enable providers that are non-DBH non providers to send information to us that we can associate automatically in the patient chart. And we're going to have a module we purchased called Care POV that's going to enable field-based personnel to continue working in Avatar even when they are disconnected from the internet or disconnected from a wireless service. They'll be able to continue to enter information, and then when they get back in coverage, they'll be able to go ahead and sync back up to Avatar. We also have a plan for training for clinicians and all of our staff that are covered by Phase 2. As I said, we're hosted by our friends over ISD. They've built many different environments for the project. So we have a user acceptance testing environment that we use for testing the software. We have a training platform. We have a sandbox platform that we've used for different things to test out the software. We have a live environment that's being used for both phase one and phase two. And we have a disaster recovery environment that's hosted by ISD up in the high desert. The disaster recovery environment is designed in case there's an earthquake or natural disaster, we can automatically switch over to the high desert environment and continue at using Avatar throughout the county and improving the, um, our patient care even in the event of a natural disaster, which is amazing. I'd like to thank our friends over at ISD for their help, and we look forward to their continued help throughout the project. So in both phase one and phase two of the project, we've had a great project team helping us out. Um, the, the project management team includes Michael Knight, our executive sponsor, Barbara Knudsen, Ted Rodriguez, and Kim Carson from IT, and myself. 
And we have many, many talented people, including um, subject matter experts, super users, and management staff that have been on the project team for well over a year and a half now. We'd like to thank all of them for their help. Additionally, we have a great communications team that's helped create this great website that you're watching the video on. I'd like to thank them for all their hard work in the website set up, and we're going to continue to deliver a lot of content to you. I'd like to thank you for your time, and I hope you have a great day.